my day. Tomorrow. Leave me. Tomorrow. <laughs> right now we are sieving out. with your red oil so guys we want to start preparing this our local food this is cocoyam this is cocoyam this is the head of cocoyam i don't know how you guys call it in your side this one is bitter yam this is bitter yam why this one is coco yam we call this one isiede that is the head we are preparing this food against tomorrow so definitely we are not having it today yeah yeah so see my mommy <laughs> is the one making this delicious food madam come on for the <laughs> madam come on for the bag Okay, you only cook on once. Mm -hmm. So let's go and put it on fire. Next, you put your water. We need to add more water here. Okay, the quantity of water we added is okay. For now, until it start boiling, then we'll come back and add more water to it. So let's go ahead and cover the pot. So guys, in preparation for our local meal, we're going to be making ncha, the local sauce that we are going to be using to eat this delicious cocoyam and bitter yam. So we are using this, we are going to be needing this. This is ngo. Some people usually use potash, but this ngo is more healthier. You go ahead and add your water. Mind you that before we use this, we are going to be sieving out all these particles from it. You can see. You go ahead and remove all these particles because you don't need them. After removing all the particles, you will... We we'll also wait for the ngo to settle down. We we'll want the particles inside to go down so that we will now use the water for our ncha. Okay guys, this is our red oil. Mind you that it's always nice for you to use thick red oil for your ncha. But before you use it, you make sure to melt it so we went ahead to put it inside this pot so that it can melt before we start using it so guys this is our okra for your incha you must use okra you are going to pound your okra until it's of this texture you can see how it is so we are going to commence with the sauce now 
So my mom has taken the okra inside the okra. So now, right now we are sieving out the ingo water. That's what we are going to be needing, not really the particles inside. You can see how clean the ingo water is. You can see how clean it is. So next, you go in with your red oil, already melted red oil. You can see that the sauce is already coming out thick, but it's still a little bit watery. Mind you that the reason why you don't need a watery red oil for your ncha is because you don't want your ncha to come out watery. You want it to come out thick. Even though that, you go ahead to still melt the red oil. But note that when you melt already thick red oil, it will still come out thick when it gets cold. And that is the more reason you need a thick red oil for your incha. My mom is just trying to make sure that she melts the okra very well. You can see that. Tell me if you have anything like this in your country or in your state. Or if you have ever tested this Igbo incha before. I would like to know that just tell me in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this beautiful amazing channel and hit the like button so that people will get to see this amazing recipe let me not add the meal Okay. Ah, okay. 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 I've not done it before now. That time is I've I've maybe I've seen I don't used to put in trends. Mm -hmm. I've not oh, seen how to do it. Do you know Even that some so. people will do it like you never do it. The taste will not be the same. It will not be good. Okay, laugh, 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 and that's a nature is a yibo girl. Yibo girl. No, see, the thing is, I don't used to put my mind in it, but this time around, I'm going to learn it. Omo, I love it. Love it. I love this. I love this thing. I can't wait to. The, 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 the aroma. Mommy, no, I, I like the mommy. Oh, mommy, the funny thing is that I. I mommy, the funny <laughs> thing is that eh, I don't really eat the other, but this in Chanato. If, if I eat it with Abacha. Hmm. Mommy, what am I going to eat tomorrow? These children are doing guy. I can't wait to, <laughs> to drink this thing. It's my favorite food. Oh my god, my day is mad. My day, tomorrow. Mommy is <laughs> not good though. Oh, guess time. It be long. I be telling mommy, do incha, do incha. But today, finally, here it comes. The incha we are waiting for. Ewe, ewe like it. Chineke. Don't worry. I'm going to be showing you guys the final outcome of everything. You see how watery this incha is. It's going to amaze you that tomorrow it will come out thick. Hey. Like if you if you've eaten this thing, just say hi. Say hi in the comments. Say hi. If you are missing it, say hi. I'm going to be sending it for you, okay? <laughs> so see Bruno. Bruno is <laughs> Bruno, what's Bruno, up now? Nah? So happy. So to, the 
Icha is okay for today. Mind you that this is not this recipe is not for today, it's for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be hot. <laughs> so it's ready now. We're going to cover it until tomorrow. Don't for, don't click out yet because you don't want to miss out on the final outcome of this food. Yeah. I love you guys. Thumbs up. So, while we are busy making our uncha, remember that our edder is still here and we've added extra water so that it will be enough for it to boil. Remember that this cocoa yam is for tomorrow, it's not for today. So, we are going to boil and keep it, then continue tomorrow so that, it's, so that it will come out very, very nice and yummy. This is the last morning. So, guys, this is our honor. This is bitter yam, and this is the next morning. You can see that it's very, very cold now because we did not cook it again today. We just left it the way it was the previous day because it is not nice to cook it twice. So, this honor, bitter yam, is ready for eating now. Our cocoa yam is ready now. You can see that the color of the cocoa yam changed. You can see that it's brownish in color now. Normally, if you cook this cocoa yam a day, just once, it will be white. But you can see that, that it now has a brownish golden color. And that is what really makes it so nice for this particular recipe we are preparing for. This is called... Ehu is a local spice and we are going to be roasting it because it's also one of the ingredients that, we, that we'll be using for the sauce ncha, for our ncha. This is our roasted pepper and ehu. <coughs> right now we are putting our pepper inside the incha you can see how the incha is this is the next day our blended pepper and ehu this is ogiri this is ogiri ibu we also need this for the incha to be nice so we go ahead and add our ogiri Next is salt. You add your salt. You can see how thick the inch is unlike the previous day it is now thicker mommy we need to make half you can see how thick it is now you can see So guys, you can see the final outlook of this incha. You can see how it is that some oil is on top, is floating on it. And my mom says that if this incha is like this, that means you your incha actually came out nice. Like this is the best outcome of it. This is the perfect texture of incha. You can see how it is. You can see this, this is so yummy. So this is the incha and ede. This is my dad's own. This is ona and this is the ede. Then this is the incha. Let's go and serve this food. 
Go and carry your own now. Say hi. 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 Are you enjoying your food? Yes. What of you? Yes. <laughs> Daddy, say hi. Hi. Nice food. <laughs> better food. Better food. No, we want better food. Hi. This is my own share of this Ede and Ona, and this is so delicious. Oh my god! So, this is the sweetness. The joy is actually eating from the oko. Do you know what it's being called? This is called oko. This container is called oko. Mama. This one is for you people. Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe, okay? Because I'm bringing an amazing content your way. You don't want to miss out. Mm. Mm. <laughs> bye bye.